Okay, so. This is anatomy and physiology or intro anatomy and physiology lab 2404L. I'm Dr. Anthony Edwards. Uh, I prefer if you call me Dr. Edwards. If you call me Mr. Edwards, I won't get upset, but it's just my preference to uh, Dr. Edwards. All right, so. All right, so here. Office is in HMS 1305, which is right there behind or behind us, right there. Office hours 9:30 to 11 on Wednesday, Tuesday to Thursday, 10:40 a.m. to 12:10 p.m. Uh, because of COVID, I used to meet in my office because of COVID. Basically, as long as the weather's okay, we'll meet. Uh, I can be outside the pavilion right out there, and if it's bad, then we can probably just meet in the uh, concept lab over here. 8 a.m. to noon, I have online office hours. You can reach me by phone, 903-693-2098. Uh, email me in Canvas, but you can still use some Canvases down. Um, you can email me at aedwards underscore canvas at samoa.edu. All right, so a little bit about me. I uh, got my bachelor's at Texas A&M University in biomedical science. I have a a uh, master's degree in health administration from the Texas A&M Health Science Center and doctorate in educational leadership and policy studies from Charlton State University. Uh, my wife's a Panola College graduate and I'm happy to be here teaching. So uh, we use a variety of different teaching methods in class. We'll need a computer, some sorts, you know, whether it's a laptop or tablet to do a lot of the assignments. Um, you will need a webcam or at least one of the assignments. Um, and um, there's information about distance learning if you need their support. And let's see, we'll go into the modules, show you how they're set up and then get into the syllabus. So click modules. Here's a start here module. Make sure you go through this. Okay, it kind of gets, shows you where everything's at and kind of introduce you to the class. So you can do this on your phone if you have it, if you want to. Uh, so here's the lab schedule. Syllabus, access that, course information sheet, sectional syllabus, syllabus addendum. All right. So there's a survey, I need you to do that. It gives me some basic information about you so I can serve you better as your instructor. Um, we will use uh, Mastering AMP. So we have a online textbook for this, for the lecture. You don't really have to register it for lab, so don't really worry about that. So I'm actually gonna unpublish that, but you will need it for lecture. And we'll talk about that in lecture. All right. Um, find my office hours, you can click that. Also you can schedule time with me. Uh, that way, if you want to make sure that I can meet with you, because if you come in and you don't schedule and somebody's already there, I uh, meet with them. Um, Ms. Parrott runs the concept lab here and she's got open study room hours. So once we get those updated, I'll have that here at this link, uh, but she does the reviews uh, as well. All right, let's see. So for you all, you. You really won't need that because this is not the online lab. All right. And then it goes by kind of practical week one. One of the things that we you can do, if you click here, it gives you a PDF file. You can bring those to class. And that way you don't have to take notes on everything. Uh, but it kind of goes over what, what we're going to be going over in class. And then you can write down the information on it. Okay. So I just want you to be aware of that. All right, so, all right, let's go ahead and get into the lecture schedule. This week, we're going over the intro to human body. All right, and this is more of the lecture schedule, but it follows very similar. All right, so we have, so we'll be going over intro. All right, let's see. And 
make sure you all have access to this. So let me pause. All right, so this week we'll cover intro to the human body in lab. So next week we'll have Monday off for MLK holiday and Wednesday we'll cover cell and abdomen membrane transport. Uh, the following Sunday you'll have homework one due and we'll go over what that looks like on uh, next Wednesday. Uh, but it's basically an online assignment you turn in. Uh, it's pretty simple where you kind of using directional terms we'll talk about today. All right, uh, quiz one. Okay, it's over intro to the human body. So, so what we're going over today, you'll have a quiz on next week. Okay, all right. Syllabus breakdown. Lectures were 70% of your overall grade for this course. You'll get one grade on your transcript. 70% comes from lecture, 30% comes from lab. In lab, 40% comes from exercises. 15% from quizzes, 40% from lab practicals. Okay, so let's go to the actual syllabus. Oh yeah, have to cover this. So alternate operations during campus closure. So in the event we had an emergency or advanced campus closure due to a natural disaster or pandemic, like COVID-19 might be necessary for Panola College to move to altered operations. During this time, Panola College may opt to continue delivery of instruction through methods that include, but are not limited to, online learning management system, uh, on Canvas, can online conferencing, email messaging, and or an alternate schedule. It's the responsibility of the student to monitor Panola College's website for instructions about continuing courses remotely. Canvas for each class for course specific information or communication and Panola College email for important general information. Okay, uh, this course does meet requirements for core curriculum for an associate of arts or associate of science. Okay, we do critical thinking in this class, we use communication skills in this class, we use empirical skills and quantitative skills and we use teamwork. Okay, so for learning outcomes, you're going to be just demonstrating an understanding of the anatomical structure and physiological function of the human body's organ systems and demonstrating an understanding of the interrelationships of the body's organ systems. All right, so general description of lecture and discussion topics for course content. So for lab, we cover basic concepts of AMP, interrelationship of chemistry and anatomy and physiology, structural components of the cell and their genetic regulation, importance of enzymes, energy, and metabolism to cell function, importance of membrane transport and membrane potentials to cell functions, classification structure and function of tissues, structure, function, and clinical considerations of the integumentary system, structure, function, and clinical considerations of bone, Describe bone development, structure, function, and clinical importance of articulations, structure, function, clinical considerations associated with muscles, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, sensory organs, endocrine system, formed elements of the blood, the heart, respiratory system, urinary system, digestive system, reproductive system, developmental anatomy and inheritance. We also cover physiological aspects of cardiac output and blood flow and the major muscles of the body. Okay, we use a variety of formats in this class. So this is a face-to-face -face class. It does have online components. Again, we talked about the lab quizzes, lab exercises, and lab practicals, normal grading scale, Okay, a student can earn up to two points on their final lab average by active and studious participating in lab activities and not exceeding college attendance policy. All right, so we use an in-house lab manual. Okay, that those, you'll get those documents that I told you you can pull up each week. Um, it's your lab manual. Okay, so you won't have to get a lab manual. You just need to get the uh, online text for the lecture. All right. Courses conducted via video conferencing can be recorded and shared for instructional purposes by the instructor. 
we're doing that now. So if you're sick and you can't be here, uh, there's a link. You can click the link to access the lectures live. Okay. Uh, you can also watch them after the fact. I post the lectures and in the course. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and uh, watch the videos that way. So uh, students always laugh when I say I need more subscribers, but you know, the, the reality is that's how you can get access to the lecture. So, all right. If you have any accommodations with uh, student support services, they can send me the information. That way, if you have any, I can take care of that for you. All right. Course information sheets, a lot of similar information. Okay, keep your cell phones vibration mode. Uh, when we're not using them, just have them put away. I uh, don't really get bent out of shape about it as long as you're not playing around on you know, your phones during class. If you need to make a call or take a call, you step out and like, let me know if you need to take a call, step out and do that. Just try not to make it an everyday occurrence. Be, stay awake, stay alert, take notes. Okay, be positive, all right? I know this class may not always be easy, but if you're positive, it gets better. Uh, develop your study habits. If you don't have them now, it's a good opportunity to work on them. Improve your retention and recall factual information, okay? Does, you do have to remember some things for this class, okay? Just work on that and we'll help you with that. Improve your understanding of different concepts. Improve your ability to understand, interpret, and analyze information. Improve your time management skills, be prepared, ask questions. Don't just sit there. If you don't understand something, let me know. Okay, I'm here to help. Uh, set reasonable and attainable goals. So if you get a C on a test, try to get a B. If you get a D, try to get a C. If you get a B, try to get an A on the next one. All right. Be diligent, enjoy your learning experience. It's no getting around to reading. The more you read, the more you'll remember. Okay, so even if it's not your favorite thing to do, just try to set aside some time for reading. Um, practice, okay? Even if you read, if you're not practicing, you don't know if you, if you get it or not. Okay, use flashcards, use study groups, uh, copy your notes over again, so that can help some students. Make sure you understand the basic concepts, spend the time, make the time investment to do that. Space out your study time. Don't just study one day a week and then not look at it, space it out. Don't cram. All right, uh, follow the instructions I give you. I try and tell you exactly how to do things. Um, and then if I say do it this way, you know, do it that way so you get full credit. All right, uh, use your textbook, your study guides, the lab guide that we give you in, in Canvas. Now study like you're taking an essay test. You don't really have essay tests in this class, but if you're you know, prepared for that, then you know, doing a fill in the blank or a multiple choice test is pretty easy. So the uh, quizzes that you take in here, generally you're gonna be multiple choice. Uh, usually you're gonna have some sort of word bank. Uh, the practicals, you get, you get no word bank and it's fill in the blank, okay? And you'll walk around the room and there's questions at every uh, station. All right. So, all right, let's go on to the next document. All right, face coverings. Just make sure you wear your face covering. Make sure it's covering your nose and your mouth, okay? Make sure it's uh, appropriate for school. And if you have any medical issues uh, regarding the face coverings, uh, contact uh, student support services. If you qualify, they can get you, they'll uh, send me the information I need. But and, and if that's not the case, then you need to have, just make sure you remember to bring it. All right. Anything else? That's pretty standard. We've covered already. All right. All right, so attendance policy basically for a Tuesday, Thursday class, maximum three absences to make sure you're able to uh, get those extra points. That, and that's 
what I'll say about that is that's for excuse absences. So, um, or I'll say that's for unexcused absences. Because if you are absent because you're sick, because of COVID, and that either means A, you have COVID, or B, you got sniffles, you got sore throat, whatever, your stomach hurts, send me an email, tell me what's going on, don't come. I mean, I don't want you coming to class because you're worried about losing your points. Okay, we'll figure out what to do on your quizzes. Um, we can do makeup quizzes and practicals. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, we got to make sure we keep everybody in here uh, healthy. So um, whatever, if you have any kind of thing bothering you, just email me, let me know. I'm not going to hold it against you. So just want to make sure you're aware of that. All right. I do deduct points if assignments are turned in late. Uh, it's typically it's done automatically uh, for the mastering assignments uh, for lecture, um, but I'd rather you turn in late than not turn in at all, okay? Because you, at least you're getting some credit, all right? All right. So that's basically the kind of introduction to the course. And we'll get into our week one information. So, All right. All right.